the pandemic, much of the world was shut down. Many people and organizations had to push their social calendars to 2021. But as Chase Vifelt shows us, one community thrived. Chase, good morning. Ladies, good morning. When we think of sports, we typically think of, you know, football, basketball, baseball, soccer, but video games, probably not. One club at the University of Tennessee is trying to change that. Here's a glimpse into the rapidly growing UTK Esports Club. It's all inclusive for gamers who found and fostered friendships by simply logging on. So UTK Esports is the largest club on campus and we're dedicated to all things related to gaming on campus. What started as a small club six years ago, UTK Esports now has over 1,600 students and they're welcoming more. We cover basically every single game you can imagine and if we don't, then we'll find like a way to include it. League of Legends, Super Smash Brothers, and more. For Harrison Thane and many other gamers, gaming is a way of life. My first memory is uh, legitimately playing the first Super Mario game with my mom um, at the beach. So it kind of left an imprint there. The UTK senior was the president of the club during the height of the pandemic. He says while most of the world was forced to slow down, the number of players logging on shot up. That's the beauty of, of gaming, is no matter what the game is, it usually has some kind of online service with it. So you can kind of get through, even though you want to be in person, you can get through those times going online with it. But that was then, and this is now. <laughs> There's always just something going on. What? Someone's like, oh, you know, you guys are doing a tournament for this? I haven't played it before. You know, is that cool? Can I play? It's just, it's very wholesome and very connected. The club gets a lot of support from the university, funding student trips to national competitions. They offer reimbursements for travel and like you stay and they actually uh, paid for the tickets to be at that event. And they're pretty competitive. We have one of the best Call of Duty teams in the nation. We have a top four Madden player also. We had one Knoxville player for Smash Brothers actually win the event for Ultimate, which was huge. That was crazy. While UT may not award scholarships to great players, other universities do. I do think in the future UT will, will see the light and help grow the esports scene on campus. But the sky is the limit. It's tough to say if there is a feeling, you know? It's, it only seems like esports is growing. Regardless of your age, you could be an 80-year-old man, you know, walking in the door, just wanting to play some games. Your skill. You could bring your six-year-old kid and they can come on through and play Smash Brothers. Sexual orientation or gender. Anybody, LGBTQ, doesn't matter. UTK Esports welcomes all Knoxville gamers to join their ranks and connect. I mean, it's, it's opened a lot of doors for me. By simply logging on. Okay, so UTK Esports, they also do fundraisers uh, like each semester. And this one was called, where I shot this, this was Extra Life. This is to raise money for East Tennessee Children's Hospital. Oh, they wow. raised about $5,000 wow. for them. And they do about two a semester. That's so, really cool. Yeah, no, they're all inclusive. They like to help the community. Um, but, you know, they also have good friendships and they're close knit and uh, they're always connected. It's so cool to see something like this in today's age, you know, we had a pandemic, you know, we had to change everything. They didn't really miss a beat. Yeah, I love that. and they have a cool Smokies logo with a little headset on. They do. I like that. <laughs> I really like it too, yeah. They, so the club is about six years old. Okay. Uh, and you know, it's still growing. It's just over 1600 players on their Discord. That's wow. where they connect and have conversations uh, online on a computer. And that link is on WBIR.com right now. Anybody can join that to see what's going on in the gaming community. Cool, right. Chase, thank you for bringing us that story. Really neat. All right, we're gonna check in with Mike on that 